this your boy knows gamer guys in today's video will be my team of the week 32 investment guide video guys i'm gonna be breaking down this team of the week explaining how much these cards are going for explaining which ones you should be investing in in a mass quantity and which ones you shouldn't be investing in a mass quantity and how much profit you're looking to make on each one of these cards guys but if you are new to the channel this whole channel is based on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team Trading, guys. I do do this video every week. I, I put out a bunch of trading content. So if you learn how to trade and make millions of coins and also maintain your coins uh, by knowing when, when to buy, when to sell, when there's going to be market crashes, the best trading methods to do and stuff like that, guys, hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button to turn my post notifications on and smash a like on this video. Let's try to get 30 likes on this video, guys. If you have any additional trading or uh, squad related questions feel free to dm me on twitter at nails gaming um, or you can dm me on instagram at deontay nails follow me dm me you have to follow me or i won't see the dm and then i'll get back to y'all as soon as possible guys um but if you want to see me uh trade and play foot champs and division rivals live twitch.tv slash nails gaming that link is in the description go follow me on twitch because um, i will be doing a bunch of giveaways and stuff like that um during when team of the season comes out but let's get into the video. Let's talk about this team of the week. I like this team of the week uh, a lot. Um, I have like 3.5 million coins, and I'm going to definitely invest a little bit of coins. I would say at least a million coins probably into this team of the week. And I'm going to break down which informs, in my opinion, are the best ones. And I would say, guys, start pick, looking to pick up these informs um, tomorrow after Squad Battle Rewards. I like squad, I like to pick up my informs after Squad Battle Rewards. I feel like that's the best time um, because that is... Um, there's an a, a, a added supply of these cards in the market because of people hitting squad battle reward squad battle rewards and these pla these players are packed and so there uh, there's a, a kind of a new supply put on the market which kind of bumps down the price a little bit. But let's break down the informs. Uh, first off, um, the informs on the reserves were usually like 75, 79, so all under 81. And so my rule with those cards is, guys, if you can get them for 10,000 coins, like um, like Samba is like 11,000. Uh, this Ramos, where is Ramos? Ramos is like 10,000. Um, uh, this this Shaq of Hove guy is he's like 10k. So if you can get these cards, definitely for like, um, and even this guy is like under uh, under 11,000 coins, and he's a Serie A in form, so that's definitely still a good pickup. Um, if you can get them for discard, maybe 10,500, that's good because they're gonna go up to around 13 to 15,000 coins. Usually all in forms go up to around 13 to 15k. So you can make at least three to five thousand coins profit per card on those. Uh, probably around three to four k. That's what I would say safely. Um, now um, into the actual the, the good informs to invest in. Uh, first inform is uh, Pennant. Uh, I, I get this this guy's name wrong. I'm just gonna call him Andr Andrea because that's his first name. Andrea. Um, he is going for thirteen thousand five hundred coins or thirteen thousand. Sorry, even on both platforms, thirteen thousand coins on both platforms. That is a good card to invest in. He's from the Syria. He's Italian. So guys, he's definitely going to go up to around seventeen to twenty thousand coins, um, for sure. Um, then next up is Paris, guys. Paris is a BPL Premier League right wing, um, f uh, uh, and he's Spanish. So that is a that is a, a double plus, fourteen thousand around that price on both consoles. And he's a right wing slash right mid, so he's going to be even more valuable because he's an outside player. So I would say at least around twenty thousand coins is what you're looking for him to go up to. Um, then we have Buffal, guys. Buffal, um, he is a Liga Santander uh, left mid. He's an outside mid once again, which are more valuable. Usually, outside mids tend to be more valuable um, than center, like than players in the center of the pitch. Um, but uh, Buffal is is thirteen around fourteen thousand on both consoles, around thirteen seven five. So we'll call it fourteen thousand on both consoles, and you'll look for him to go up to around seventeen um, to twenty thousand coins as well. Um, and uh, next up is uh, this Rory guy. Rory, um, he is, I don't even know what league he's from. He's from the, the, the Haidani Hy A League. And I don't like I don't like that league at all. Um, but he is still an 82 in form. And he's going for around 14,500 on Xbox, on PS4. 14,500 on Xbox One, around 16.5K. I don't like that in form for that price. Uh, but you can still invest in it. He'll probably go up to around 20,000 coins because he is an 82 overall in form. So if you pick it up for 16,000 or under, you can make around three to 4,000 coins profit. It's not a great one to invest in, but you still can make some profit off of it. Um, then next up, 
uh, we do have uh, who is next? Who is next? Uh, Felipe uh, or Philip Max. Uh, Philip Max is a left mid from the Bundesliga guys. He is around fourteen thousand coins on both consoles, um, and he's once again Bundesliga and BPL players go for the most coins. The, they're in the, the, like the best leagues, and because they have a player of the month every month, um, I think that is over. I'm not sure um, completely on that one yet. Um, I think there might actually be one more player of the month. I'm not completely sure, but with team of the uh, season coming up and stuff like that, this left mid from the Bundesliga will definitely be a good investment. He's a left mid, 82 rated, and he's only 14,000 coins. I can see this card easily, easily going up to 20,000 coins, easily. Um, then we have. Um, we have another Bundesliga player, um, Marcel Halstenberg, or Halstenberg, however you say his name. He's 16,000 coins on both consoles, and now this guy's an outside back guy, so he's going to be really, really, really valuable, and I would say he's going to go up to around 23 to 25,000 coins. Um, so you're looking to make good profit off of, off of his card um, for sure. Um, I like that, that card a lot. Uh, next up, we have Mr. Christian Benteke, guys. Another 82 inform from the B BPL. These informs are great. These, this is a great team that we can invest coins in, guys. Um, uh, but Benteke is around 15,500 on PS4, 15,000 on Xbox One, and you're gonna look for his card to go up to 20 to 22,000 coins easy. Um, then uh, next up, we have Diego Carlos. Diego Carlos is 16,500 on PS4, 15,500 on Xbox One. He's a Brazilian. And he's from the League One, so he has the, yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's the League One, yeah, uh, League One. So he has the, the double, uh, the double plus to his, his name. Um, so I would say, guys, this car will definitely go up to around twenty to twenty-five thousand coins with him being a B B Brazilian uh, center back. Um, twenty to twenty-five k, somewhere in that price range is definitely what he's going to go up to. I, I feel like at some point. Um, uh, then we do have. Uh, a linglet and this is one of my favorite informs out of this whole out of this whole uh, batch um, I will definitely be putting some coins into him I want his price to go down a little bit I want him to go down to like 20 22,000 if I can get it for 22,000 I would definitely take that and linglet um, he is a um, he's a bonus or sorry he's a Liga Santander Barcelona France center back he, and he's 84 rated Guys, this is a fantastic card to put your put some coins into. He's twenty five thousand coins on both consoles. I want him to get be at around 22, 23. I don't know if he's gonna drop that low, but I can definitely see this card going up to thirty five to forty thousand coins, especially with him being an eighty four inform. Easy thirty five. Um, I feel like easy thirty five to forty thousand coins. Um, and then we also have Mena guys, who is another um, eighty four overall inform. He's a right. He's an outside mid. Um, and he's going for 20,000 coins on both consoles and with them being 84 I can see him going up to 28 to 30,000 coins um, for sure as well I can see him going up quite a bit um, and then I think lastly um, Sergu we'll talk about Sergu Sergu is another good one he's a little bit more on the expensive side because I don't I, I like to invest in cards um, from this card all the way up to around 35k I don't like to really go over 35k and I'll explain why here in a second um, but Sirigu, he's 36,000 on both consoles. And he is a, a Serie A um, Italian 86 overall goalkeeper. And with him being Italian from the Serie A and an 86 for 35,000, 36,000 coins, uh, that is, that's definitely a good investment. I can see him going up to 45 to 50,000 coins. Um, but, guys, uh, that's it. All the rest of these informs, like Marco Royce, Alexandro, Sigurdsson, uh, Mbappe, uh, Mbappe and Benzema, they're a little bit, and, and even Ederson, and then this guy on the bench, um, they're they're a little bit more on the expensive side. If you do want to buy them now, um, if you want to buy them and play with them and use them in your team and try them out, that like tomorrow or later today after after Squad Battle Rewards is still, um, depending on when you're watching this video, when after Squad Battle Rewards come out, it, it definitely is still a good time to pick up these cards because they did they, they definitely will go up in price they're not going to really go down i can't see them go down because i mean using informs always go up in price um but um the reason why i say i don't like to invest in um, informs over thirty five thousand coins in a mass quantity is because um you, if you put let's let's let me use an example let's see who's a good one it's an example um, this Alexander is 300,000 coins, guys. He's 300,000 coins. He'll probably go up to maybe 380, maybe 400 at the absolute max. 
All right, so I'm putting in 300,000 coins into getting uh, 10 Alexandros, uh, or one Alexandro, sorry. I'm putting in 300,000 coins to get one Alexandro, and I'm going to make, what, 60 to 80,000 coins profit on them um, compared to if I put 300,000 coins and I buy, let's say, uh, who's a player that we can say? Let's say I buy 10, 10 Langlets, or I buy 12 Langlets for, for, for 300,000 coins, somewhere in there, 12 to 15 Langlets. Uh, for 300,000 coins, I can sell those um, and make around eight to 10,000 coins profit on each one of those, and I can turn that into 120 to maybe even uh, all the way up to 150,000 coins. So I can potentially double the profit uh, by just investing in, in more cards and into a, a cheaper card and buying more of them. So I like that's why I like to, to kind of do a, I, I do quality uh, quantity over quality because yes you can make three you can make a, more coins on one individual alexandro but you're having to invest more into that alexandro when you can invest the same amount of coins total in the 10 of ling or 12 or 15 langlets and make more profit so that's that is why i don't like to invest in, in a mass quantity of these higher rating and more expensive informs i like to invest in the cheaper ones uh, because they go up and then this it's a it's really really safer it's a way safer investment and also you're going to make more profit by investing in a ton of them and compared to just one so i hope that makes sense to y'all guys um my the best ones in my opinion guys the the, the must buys are the linglet um i say that felipe mac or philip philip max um halston bird and then i also do like benteke i'd say those are the best ones but you can invest in all these on the reserves for discard get them close to discard you can buy invest in uh benteke Paris, Patenga, or whatever his name is, Buffal, Diego Carlos, Sirigu, um, Langlet, Halstenberg, um, uh, Felipe Max, and then Mena. And then even this guy, but he's. Eh. But yeah, so those are the cards you can invest in, guys, and make a ton of coins on. You can make a ton of coins by investing in this team of the week. And uh, yeah, guys, so thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, check out my sniping and mass bidding filters. Um, I broke down which cards are the best ones from this team of the week to snipe. Um, so if you want to see that video, feel free. I will put it at the top of the description. In this video, it's me, Boy Nels Gaming. Like, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day and peace out, guys.